Hi, it's Steve again. Um, this morning, well, about lunchtime actually now, I'm at um, Reading Services. Um, I've got a wagon drag car transporter. So it did have 12 cars on board, but as you say, they've been uh, been unloaded now, so that the engine still runs on the vehicle. So we're able to get all the cars off and the other car transporters taking them away now. So uh, it's just for us to load up and uh, take it back to Stoke. It's a Volvo 420. The model of this vehicle. So we're just going to do the do a pre-lift, pick up on the axle as always, get onto some stands, and get it loaded. So I was going to take it back with the cars, but lucky enough for me, uh, somebody else has turned up and taken uh, all the cars off, makes things a bit easier. You can just say with cars on, we're probably running about 16 foot maybe. Yeah, we'll be putting an airline into the tractor unit to obviously keep the brakes off the the unit and the suspension up and we'll be running two airlines for the trailer one will be supplying it air as emergency line and uh, we'll be putting a yellow susie to uh, obviously uh, break the trailer so we'll be uh, using the trailer brakes as well as my brakes on the truck to uh, slow it down Yeah, it makes a change to get a bit of a run. We don't tend to go too far uh, recovering trucks nowadays. Makes a bit of a change. Just getting the lifting forks out. Drive's just gone in the services, get something to eat, so, so we don't, don't need him as long as he's left the keys in the cab with she has. So we can crack on, get it loaded, let him have a bit of a break before we set off. Okay, that's got a slight air leak coming from somewhere. It's not gonna affect us too much. Power the boom up and uh, and you come, you do all. There we go. Has that lifted? Yeah, we'll be removing the half shaft uh, on this vehicle rather than the prop shaft. That'll be the safer uh, way. Just got to work out which side I'm gonna pull as we pull the half shaft opposite the diff lock. Um, makes it a little bit easier to uh, reconnect at the other end. So I we'll have to have a little look where the diff lock is on this Volvo. So I'll just get the front end chain down first. I'll have a little crawl under there while the stands are on there. How can it look nearly? I can't quite. I think where it's coming from. Might be up a, the side of the engine, I think. Not leaking from the brakes. All right, chaining over the top of the axle. And just just us a little bit and, and come in from the side as well. Bit in there, yeah, that's lovely. That's the front, right? Done Let's to the driver's side. If 
do the same again. Going over the top of the axle, then we come into the sides. Adjust this chain a little bit more this side. Fit around the back. Drop down a little bit. You can fit the other side, the anti roll bar. Maybe. Metal clip on there. There we go. The chain's fitted. A chance to crawl under here a little bit. And have a look which side the diff locks on. In the back axle. Oh. Yeah, it look, looks like the uh, diff locks on this is on the driver's side. Yeah, it's definitely the driver's side, so we're going to pull the half shaft on the near side. So I've got a plate for the half shaft on this. We get that out now over this side. All right, where's my Volvo? There we go. See, so our shaft cover would be fitting. might do that next actually before I put my airlines and that in so once it's uh set up, we can adjust the air suspension or the tray or the back of the unit so it won't be that lifting them too high because they're, they're fairly low the trailers so we're gonna add a little bit more height to the air suspension on the unit and that'll bring the front of the trailer up a little bit Right, let's just drop this down a little bit. Yeah, drop the front down and the trailer raises. Right, let's get some gloves on for half shaft removal. Normally the worst thing to turn these um, trailers, because obviously they don't come attached very often from the unit. Normally the unit stays with a trailer, Some, so sometimes the air couplings can get a bit seized on them. So I might actually give them a little spray in a sec. Let, let the maintenance spray start soaking in. While we're doing something else. Might not be a bad call actually to do that. The air connections, yeah, they are, they've been apart. That looks to be the yellow Susie this side, so this will be the service brakes, and the red Susie the other side. That'll be the emergency brake. Oh, let's give them a good spray up for a minute, let us soak him more. I might turn the arse. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's going to come off all right that side. If I might use my remote trailer board, if not, be plugging into the trailer electrics. We'll see how we get on with that. Give these a little spray while I've got the spray out. Fortunately, it's Volvo half shaft, there's no puller bolt. So it's a case of giving it a bit of a whack with the sledgehammer. So I have little collars behind the bunk. That's what normally uh, stops the 
half shaft from uh, coming off easy, he sort of sees on the water gets behind him. So a little bit rusted up now, but it might not be too bad. It's not a very old vehicle, this. Depending if it's broke down, it's been off before. This is the chosen way we would uh, disconnect the drive by putting the half shaft. So, Let's see how it comes off. Right. That's all the bolts off. A little spray by the collars. In case of getting the sledgehammer out and some rags, and uh, let's see how we get on. tree underneath right let's have a bit of rag a bit of blue roll and the switch of it yeah it makes it quite a long uh, vehicle with the trailer I think it's about 60 foot I think 61 foot the maximum length for these a unit and trailers so we're maybe 90 foot Java probably know their exact let's give this a bit of a hit needs a bit of whacking sometimes obviously haven't been off for a while Definitely. I'm going to spray for a minute. Let that soak in actually. While we're doing, let it soak in, we can do another little job. Let's get them uh, airlines out. I've got longer airlines now. When I first uh, started using this truck, a very small airline supply, but we've got some nice. Uh, Long airlines on here, so whether I'll be able to get round in one, I might have to put another smaller airline to it just to get round the cab. Yeah, I think we will have to add another little extension to there. Get around. Yeah. Do this while we're bent for that spray to soak into them bolts. There we go. Two yellows, two reds. All right, let's get back to that half shaft now. Give it a couple of minutes. Let's get whacking. Right. Collets are starting to move a bit now. Any loose ones we pick off, put them in a little pot. Otherwise, they'll probably end up flying with the when it finally goes. Yeah, it did tend to struggle a little bit getting these off at times. His Volvos, they've got a few years old. Right, here we go again. Here we go. Fortunately, it does mark the half shaft a bit. Fortunately, we can't do much about that. Let's get me a little chlorama. Just ease it off now a bit. Go. Just thought we would go there. All my bolts in the oil. Lovely. Go. At least the oil tray stops it. So I'm losing them between the wheels, I suppose. Oh, look at me now. Clean off. I only need a couple of bolts to put three on again. 
to hold the cover back in place. Here we go, the half shaft. So there should only be one spline on here. Yep, that's right. We pulled the right one. So if it had the diff lock uh, half shaft, that would have extra rubber splines along here for diff lock engages. We've got the right half shaft out. So it shouldn't be no problem for us to refit at the other end. I possibly want that refitted so they can uh, limp it in their workshops, I would have thought. So, done the right call on that. Right, let's put three into it. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure if I use my uh, remote trailer board. I'll have to see, uh, see, how, see how it works, all right. The distance should be all right. There's no cars or that in a way to to interfere with it, so it should work perfectly fine. That trailer board. All right. All right. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. And that's that done. That's a half shaft move. Auxiliary cut of air tanks, and we've got a, also a little uh, air point here. Give that a little spray. That goes into compressor, so we could try going into there of an airline. Leave that cover off for a minute. Let's put, our, put this away. Right, I'll leave that spray out just in case I'll get problems. Right, let's get there. Take my gloves off. I'm gonna get in the driver's cab. He says he's left the keys for us, hopefully. Yeah, he said he did. Right, okay. Get this started up. This has got electric handbrake on these Volvos, which we will disable into a tow mode. Yeah, this guy's got a little bit of air leak. You say we've it's only been parked here a few minutes. So it's in the red still. So the engine's running not too bad when it's uh, cold, but when it's hot, he said it's uh, making a bit of a noise. I've had somebody out to look at it and they've not recommended him to tow it, obviously with a fully loaded lot of cars back to Stoke, so that's why we've gone, gone for recovery. Right, I probably can't show you how we disenable the, the handbrake, so I might have to cut this bit out. So, this is a compressor pipe. Get the line in here and see how we go. Seat in ready to tighten that up a little bit. Put a bit of muck on the threads. Let's just nip that up there. Right, so we've got an airline going into the unit at the moment that's feeding straight into the trailer as well all the lines are gone off right 
try and look the other way. Part not in played. Part braking service mode. There we go, that's what we want. This electric handbrake won't bring itself on now. Check the key out as well. Right, let's power in. So we are slightly on a up and down bit of been a bit of a dip at the moment. But so I'll get all the airlines sorted in. The final thing will be just setting the ride height of the vehicle. Yeah, the booms bring bring a boom right in on this one. chopper down here yeah if we put a bit more air on the suspension that will see raise the front of that trailer just let, let that airline go in there feed it air right it's so it's gonna bring some airlines around the front okay Get one this side maybe one the other Right, let's try the emergency line. There we go, wasn't too bad. All right, so we need to go into that feed there. And let's see if, we can, see if we, we're lucky with the other. Oh, this is to be the service brakes. quite turn that we have to get a pair of grips on there to turn that one I thought that might be the case so got me locker handy Give them a little sprout a few minutes ago, but I think I'll grab one of them. Let's see if we can turn it. Get that, one, get that lead out of the way, I think. Oh. Uh, somebody's had problems with that before, by looks of things. No, we're going to have to get another lot. pair of grips on the other side. Yeah, somebody struggled with that before we can see the marks on there. Give it a good squirt out the old. There we go. One side was alright, one out of two ain't bad, as they say. Alright, let's get another pair of grips on the other side. See if we can get that off. Spanner on there actually either. Uh, hopefully it should be that can't be that tight. <clears throat> that. There we are. Alright, that leveled up now. I just got freed her off in a bit now. Come on, you devil. Let's work it in out a little bit. A bit more spray, I think. Where's that little pump? That's it, it's coming, I think. Oh, he's coming. There'd be no air in this system because we've got the handbrake off so I ain't got to worry about yeah here we are Whew. put the other electric cable in get that out of the way 
and it's just where it's not been not been a part of very often just somebody's had a good go getting it part before problem getting that line in there but we'll have a look to free it off a bit Just pushes it back. All right, there we go. All right, that's the line three. All right, let's bring the yellow one round this side. I think, shall we? Let's get rid of these black gloves now. All right. And probably bring that bring it over the top, I think. Alright. Okay. That's fine. That's released itself right now. I'll go over the top. Hopefully with these two lines we've got enough to do what you want to do. Right. Right, this is that yellow Susie in. line done get that secure a little bit of thing at the back put a little band in there keep it from dragging Right, that's one line in. Right, see if it'd be as lucky as we are on the other one. Shouldn't need that now because that red line was alright, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. Put it in just in case. Right, let's bring the couple of cable ties maybe, save me coming back in here. A couple of little bungee rings. Right. Right, look at the other side to go. This is the uh, just walk round the back. Make sure the wheels and tires and that right. There's no reason to say they shouldn't be, but 
Let's have a little tour around it. Right, okay. Right, this is it, Red Emergency Leap. little coils there oh, I've got a long bloody lead oh, this is a long lead do I want the long lead here do I want the small lead at the front Yeah, a bit fiddly in full cheese car transports not a... there we go as long as we've got enough cable just trying to get everything right with them it's the only thing a little bit more than picking up a rigid or a normal arctic all these lot susie leads have got a rig out make sure they're not trapped or they're not too tight they're gonna damage themselves this one here is it might be a bit easier Shall I bring it around? No, I'll do the same the other side so I can keep an eye on. I'm going to poke it through the body, but I'll make two of my shots. Right, here we are. Feel the air going in there now. That's fine. Cable tie needs to keep this neat. And we run that same as we did the other side, maybe another cable tie just under the cab mount. Fortunately, where we're parked, it's not a level ground to set the suspension up so I might move forward a little bit there we go what are we looking like? yep just make sure check there's no leaks nope a little bit more on that suspension actually while we're over here I'm going to put an ignition on hopefully it won't disturb the no it, the brake pressure is low so it's not going into that first test point We put the airline in. That's the main lead to the compressor. If it's not having it that on there, so we go on the tank. And I've been a bit unlucky actually on these sometimes going into these compressor pipes. Sometimes I get get a line in. Sometimes I, yeah, it's not getting any air in, which is what we want. Go in a tank then. If you don't like it that go, don't like it that way. One tank so what's it? Right, we've got a test point in here. We've got the ignition on, so just make sure that this first tank's gonna do what you need it to do. Good 
so on it's coming out tighten that up a little bit threads a little bit dry Gotta make sure we got air going in there. Oh, he's got a, that'll please him. He's got a, a screw in that in the tire as well. Just there. All right. I'll let him know when he comes back. I'll cheer him up even more. Don't seem to be leaking in from that. The tire's not flat, so hopefully it's just a, a small screw. Yeah, it was really low. on me I bought me trousers from that coupling right there we are we got so we've got three three airlines in there now I think we go for a, a trailer board now anything it will right make sure we have my battery guns charging up they're still charging I can stay on then all right Let's see if we can rig a trailer board up we get some Cable ties save me walking back again. Might be, might be easier solution. A couple of them on there, on put them bungees up. So with the cars on board, it wouldn't have been any uh, easier or harder loading. Just when you transport them a little bit. It's going to be a bit wary of the, obviously the trees and what have you. Fine. Let's see what we can rig up here. Oh, there we go. Hopefully the driver should be back shortly. Duh. ties down here apart from the bungees it's going to be moving around a bit when the body moves on this side of thought there we go right here she works. 
there we go lovely all right thanks very much for watching as always always a bit of a marathon loading these up nothing quite goes to plan with these but we got it all loaded so just gonna probably do a little bit of filming just uh coming out the entrance of the truck around these uh to the main m4 and apart from that thank you very much for now yeah just backing back a little bit now to get a bit more of a swing going inside the, the curb now yeah, we've put a little bit more air onto the suspension of the unit looks about right with the trailer it's got a bit more clearance from the front more so in the rear end of it a little bit tight getting out of Reading go back on the m4 thanks very much for watching as always subscribing to the channel till next time thank you very much <laughs>